Rivka, good news. You can go straight to a doctor. I, to talk. I just <laughs> well, the Are you in the floor? <laughs> you are right there, Rivka. Whatever you said to my father worked. <laughs> you're looking a little <laughs> short. I don't think you're very well at all. <laughs>
God, he's slow. Probably just trying to think of his options here, isn't he? If I walk slowly, I've got more time to actually consider my options. There's just like nothing around. No one at all. Yeah, I. Hmm. Can we go? No, guess not. There we go. Now we can go. Yes? Hey, there we go. Don't turn on me is honestly the worst possible move you could make. I'd probably just one shot you, right? I do dig the uh, red mining suit, though. It's almost like a uh, crimson fleet in a way. Not quite a darker red, but I do dig it. I wonder if it's unique. Have we seen that before? The Red Devils, maybe? Yeah, where have you stashed this? It better not be miles away. It better not be walking with this guy for like 20 minutes. Because <laughs> I know Starfield likes to do shit like that and I really can't be asked. I don't know. I'm going back here. Is he going to try and sh he's going to try and shoot me, isn't he? It's it's a bad idea. This does feel like me is trying to lead me down a back alley, right? Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. Nope. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Not really. You kind of left out the big details that people knew you went to get it, and if you don't bring it back, they know you've got it. It's a terrible idea. I dare you, I dare you to pull a gun on me. Don't you do it. I don't want to kill you. But I will not hesitate. Again, I, are we really dragging our asses all the way across Mars to do this? Because that seems pretty nuts. Selling this stuff, what do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? No, it's, it's marked stolen. It's not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Exactly. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> what was I thinking? Exactly. I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that. Am I right? Did you do that? You better fucking not have. You shouldn't have did that. Well, we we really are just trekking behind this guy across Mars. Oh god, Starfield, why? <laughs> why do you do this to us? If I go ahead, Almost does he follow? There, right. Okay. Park my ship off away so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. Yeah. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. Eh? I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back. So you are going to try and kill me. Else unloaded, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, well, free ship for me, I guess. You totally are going to try and... T this is just... You are terrible at planning. You just telegrammed exactly what you're going to do. I... Maybe we should just pick the option in the kit in the bar to say, Hey, we're heavily armed. Don't fucking try anything. Because <laughs> this guy's an idiot. He really is, isn't he? Wow. 
Well, I'm stealing your stuff. I really hope I can get your suit because it's kind of cool. Reminds me of like Red Dwarf. Love that series. All right, that's enough. And don't face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. I'm gonna try and talk you down. You don't have to do this, Hank. We can talk this through. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. I don't give a shit about you, man. Killing me won't save you. <laughs> Trying to tank an entire economy because you're insecure, that's crazy. If you ask me, maybe it's not crazy enough. What do I care about any of them? Burn it all to the ground for all I care. Well, killing me won't save you. Other people suspect you're up to something. Do they? Oh, maybe I need to rethink what I'm doing. You really do. Look, even if you kill me, your plan won't work the way you think it will. I don't care. I've got to try. I got nothing well, else. Guess you're gonna die then. Sorry, but I gotta do this my way, and that means you need to die. Let's get this over with. Like I said, it was a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> what were you thinking, you utter knob? <laughs> I'll take your stuff then, I guess. It says the Deimos stuff. It might be. Let's uh, have a, a wee squiz, shall we? No, we didn't get it. Uh, oh. Ooh. That's, that's weird. That's actually not what we took. So what did we take then? Was it clothes? We took Deimos something or other. Misk, maybe? No, I don't know what we took then. Oh, I missed it. Oh well. <sighs> Fucking fool. What a fool. Right, so what are we doing mission wise? Return to Trevor. Can I take the ship? What is it? A watchdog. I mean, it's a free ship, right? Worst case scenario, we sell it again. Inaccessible. Oh god, please tell me we've not got that bug. Hopefully it's just because it's his ship and we don't get to steal it. Which I'm fine with, I think. <laughs> okay, Sidonia. Let's go straight back there, please. I don't want to walk all the way back. Oh, you're ready to rumble. Should I get you a gun, Eric? I feel like you're kind of, uh, kind of squishy without a, without a weapon. As far as I know, you don't have any perks in boxing. Not that it'd help you much in this game, because melee is very much neglected. I thought maybe we'd have, like, a bit of luck with it, but no. Again, much like Skyrim, you go to the higher difficulties and fist just punching stuff becomes completely untenable. Also magic. And most other things as well. <laughs> if you want to respec into stuff. Uh, well, we tried to talk him down. We failed, but that's how I like to play. I don't like always passing stuff. It's nice to have consequences for actions, right? Trevor! Bad news. You're down an employee. I found out what happened with Hank in the equipment. Oh, do tell. What took him so long? He stole it in hopes you'd all get fired, then he tried to kill me. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, didn't end well for him at all. Kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. <sighs> people people are like that sometimes. To resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Yeah, you'd struggle. Oh, we got some demo stuff. Oh, Rook meets King. Uh, let's have a look at our stuff that we got, eh? Hey, we did get it. Nice. D 
famous skip pack. I'm guessing this is kind of unique. That's yeah, it's a demos. It's a miner's helmet, but it's uh, it's got the devil horns on it too. Nice. That's a nice detail. It's absolutely fucking terrible. On damage resist, we've got two of those for some reason. Oh, we must have picked one up from who's who. What's it right? A demos cap. Do we want to wear that? It doesn't give any. Yeah, why do the hats not give bonuses? They always did in other games, right? Fallout and stuff, they give like one charisma maybe? Maybe I'm imagining that, I don't know. Okay, well let's go talk to our new contact. I don't know. Media, no? So who was he telling us to talk to? Ah, Rickfer, there we go. Oh, I don't need to go there, I just want to make it the active mission if that's alright. Is it the active mission? There we go, now it is. How goes? How goes? So we've got Australians, we've got Londoners. You sound like you're from London. Hello, Rickfer. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. You're, you're very young to have a chronic cough like that. That sounds like me. I uh, hope you're okay. That cough doesn't sound good at all. It's it's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. Oh, I can pay you for that. <coughs> well, I, I, I'll... I'll I'll give you some it's money. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Okay. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Um, you definitely need to see an actual doctor or your condition will get worse. You could die. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Yeah. Maybe I can trust you. Maybe. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. So... And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide What for you're me. saying is you need a name change. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Um, what happened with your father? Why is he trying to track you down? It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. No, After fair enough. I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around the <coughs> settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliance database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. Um... If you don't get help for your illness, wouldn't that make it worse? <coughs> it's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. Yeah, I thought that about mine. It's been ten years me. now. Well. Oh, well, well, geez, it's been ten years. And I feel Fuck, for it's depressing. <laughs> that is a definite. Okay, well, I mean, I can pay your father a visit if you like. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Oh, I can intimidate. Maybe I'm pretty sure I'm good at that. With my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know, he has powerful and dangerous friends. Oh, so I'm fine with that. So do I. If it works. I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. <laughs> what do you think? 
I'll, I'll do it. Just tell me where to find him. It just them. so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. Oh, we know that place. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. <laughs> I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> It's a peace offering. Yes, yeah, so again, someone that with a chronic cough. Is exceedingly rare. If it's flaring I'm up sure like that, stop talking. Write it down. It's way like easier. Say. Just tell me that way. Uh, got it. I'll see if I can, what I can do to get you out of this mess. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. Yeah. And thank you so much for trying to help hey, me. No sweat. I can understand trying to get away from overbearing parents and stuff. Completely understand. So we're gonna get Red Harvest Reserve whiskey. And then we're gonna make our way. Whoa. I do like how it's slightly lower gravity here. It just makes my life way easier. Um Let's get that one. Red Harvest Reserve. Talk to Jack. Oh yeah, in the uh what's this one called? I never remember. We've been here enough. Is it like the landing or something like that? A friend offered me a nice cushy office job. No idea. Right, let's go look. Let's go talk to them. Hey, I think you and I both um, know you're not on the payroll anymore. Anyway, no harm done. Just Stop saying my fan of excitement and drama around here. Howdy doody. I um, have here you're the man to see about Red Harvest Reserve whiskey. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. Last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor. Oh, Hurst. he owes us. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. Mm, fair enough. I mean, it's important. I need to help. So we might as well try and persuade, right? Now well, you got my attention. This will be good. I'm trying to save Rikva. Please, think of Rif Rivka. I do have a soft spot for that girl. If I don't get it, this someone could die. It's compelling, but I'll need no more. Rikva's sick. I need this to get her far. Get give to her father before he tracks her down. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? I will, I'll yes. What. I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. Good I'll man. I'll charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Pay me that. It's you. Happy to. Is that it? That's very generous. Yeah, I'll buy it. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg. I'm not, Jack. You are doing a, doing a, doing her a service. Well done. You're a good man. I do justice for Rivka. I will do justice for Rivka. Okay. I could just neck Hello. it. Excuse me. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're here to save Rivka. Just neck the whiskey straight away. I don't know if it's hard to... Oh, well, we could do. Actually, I might try and we will quick save and then we'll go steal Governor Hurst's one. <laughs> right? Right? Okay, what happens if I just like... Are they going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to just quick save, weren't we? Because it, it may do nothing. And I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see what will happen. Uh, where is it? Red... Red Harvest Pale Ale? Ah, uh, it's not in there. It's considered a... miscellaneous item, I guess? Okay. Well, fine. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. You've ruined my fun, Starfield. <laughs> Kind of like the uh, Jarin route for the Dark Brotherhood quests in Skyrim, right? Just give you the, the Jarin route and just neck it straight away. And what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Idiot. We'll have to try that in our playthrough. There is a way to survive it. It's very difficult though, because your health drops so rapidly. Uh, 
Actually, why are we running out here? We can just go straight to our missions, right? Go to Hotel Voli on Neon. Yes. Got to do the Ryujin playthrough this time as well. Zoosh. Go for it. Why is my... Do that. I don't know why it reset. That was very strange. Neon. I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the quest line here. Started off with a bit of corporate subterfuge, but it's actually turned into quite an interesting That's little aspect of uh, Cydonia that I wouldn't have imagined was in the game. Cydonia kind of felt like a throwaway place. Right. Hello. I am Dan. Have we been to Neon in this universe yet? I feel like we have, but maybe I'm imagining that. I'm sure we have. Oh, no, guess not. We've not done this quest line either, so that's some what we can do here. Might as well wait for him again. Eh, maybe not. So, we we know you give up and surrender, so that's fine. We'll go talk to him in the in the brig or whatever. Yeah, speak to Nesha in jail. So yeah, we know we know a bit about it. Hotel Bowley, right next to Rock Line Medical. Very convenient. Hello, Minerva. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. That is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> My hotel is. Yeah, we, we know this. You're very lucky then. Well, luck might. Okay, can we actually just. So. No, I have a delivery. Red Harvest Reserve whiskey for Natan Ovadia from his daughter. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Hmm. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Cool. <laughs> I was expecting to have to bribe you, but apparently you just hand out information to anybody. Because isn't the room you buy on the second floor, so we never got to see this room. Hello. Well, let's make this quick. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Not particularly. Can we actually just... Oh, we can't skip out of it. I was going to take the, the medicine. Damn it, I can't. Okay, look, I'm here to talk to you about Rivka. The whiskey was just to get me in the door. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. No, I do not. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Look, except the red whiskey, Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. She's sick, and she's refusing to seek treatment because she's afraid of you finding her. She could die. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. One way or another, we're going to resolve this. Or maybe we do this one. I know... Oh, when it says you've only got one turn left, does it mean that you've got to only... I don't know. I think we can come to an agreement if you're willing to listen. 
I don't disagree. Okay, with we you. keep that turn. Right. Is there anything I can say to change your mind? Perhaps. Well, I hope we can see eye to eye on this. Hmm. We'll see about Okay, it. we actually succeeded in a persuade for once. Suppose I've overreacted. She was young and wild foolish. She is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to increase. You my absolutely like that. would. That'd be a very piece of shit thing to do. If you break your word, I will hunt you to the edge of the stars. Wow, that is very full on. If you break your word, I will hunt you to the edge of the stars. Yes, of course. Understood. I will drop the charges against her immediately. I will call off the bounty hunters. Anything for you to leave me be. Please, just go. Right, there we go. Intimidation sometimes works. <laughs> like Eric just stepped out. Oh, okay, bye Eric. I know, you really, he just didn't want to bar, bar of it. He's like, yeah, you, you you deal with this, boss. You got it. This isn't piloting. I don't give a shit. All right. Well, very good. We have saved Rivka a bunch of hassle, and she will hopefully get the, uh, the medicine she needs now. Yeah, don't avoid going to a doctor. Like, it's seriously, like... I used to do that. I used to avoid going to the doctor really for help. Says. I'd be sick with something and be really just super crook. Not being able to get out of bed. Really ill. Need antibiotics for a, an infection or something like chest infection. And I would not seek help. And looking back, you know, considering how I am now, where I have to really kind of manage my health and monitor it quite closely, it's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, doctors can be very expensive and stuff, but if you've got, like, for us, we've got uh, social health, uh, yeah, social health care? Yeah, social health care. Uh, public, public health care. It's cheap, cheap enough that I can go regularly. Uh, if it was, you know, if I had to do private, then obviously I'd probably be very much in the same position. Private does kind of put a spanner in the works of people. Rivka, good news. You can go straight to a doctor. I need to talk. I just <laughs> oh, are you in the floor? <laughs> you are right there, Rivka. Whatever you said to my father worked. <laughs> you're looking a little <laughs> short. I don't think you're very well at all. <laughs> okay, I reasoned with him and then threatened him if he went back on his word. Thankfully, it sounds as if that may not be necessary, but it is good to know such a guarantee exists. It He's is so good short that this now. This chapter of my life is now closed, and I can <coughs> finally get the help I need. Yes. Thank you. I'll pat, pat on the head, Rivka. There you go. Good job. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little quest. I enjoyed that. Uh, we do probably want to. Actually, yeah, I want to check with Gnome before we go because. Deposit detected. Where is Gnome? Over here. I want to see if we can actually, if there's a quest to repair him or something. I am Gnome. What can I do for you? You look like you've seen better days. What happened? I was activated 17 years ago. I malfunctioned and have been in disrepair and unable to move for over nine years. Can we help you? Too costly. And I am well past my warranty Yeah, I don't like that we've left him my here. My primary function is that of an automated personal assistant. It was chosen over deactivation. Okay, so we, got, we can't do anything with him. That sucks. I really wanted to repair him. I uh, am registering that you are leaving. Goodbye. God, I feel bad for him. He's just there. He just sits there. He can't do squat. What a horrible life. Poor gnome. Right. Oh yes, Ryujin. We've got... Speak to Nesha in jail. Let's do that one. Actually, let's uh, make that the... Yeah, we'll make that the... The default, right? I've heard there are some pretty nasty gangs in the army. Oh, nice. Just left us straight in. That's great. Ever run into spaces? Come on, let's see if we can help Nesher out. 
So you're telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis? Oh, okay, this way. Uh, how do we talk to him? Are we going to talk to one of these guys? Just take your junk, load it back on your ship, and get the hell out of here. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Better get moving. You got a problem? Okay. Yeah, can I? I suggest you refrain from interfering with neon security matters. How do we? No, no, no. Hey, wait. You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please have a heart. You need to help me. That's why I came here. I mean, I'll hear you out. Thank you. Oh God, I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded. He'll take care of you. So tell me what to do. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. Like a rock, baby. In Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Alpha 3 Just Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there. Everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. Yeah, we'll see him bail you out too. Because he seems fairly chill. He's just a, a dude in the wrong place at the wrong time doing the wrong thing. <laughs> so he was technically a criminal, but how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere. he seems like he's in it because he needs to be, not because he wants to be, right? Right, we're going to go in here, we're going to get hassled by the dude who'll tell me that's dangerous, right? No, no, not this door. The other one, maybe. Okie dokie. Sleep crates for rent. Hello. I have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. I mean, I, I have done better. I mean, I need access. I'm a class one citizen. What are you, what are you talking about? You know, I don't, need order. I don't need a sleep crate. Psh. I need access to Nisha Omar's bodies. What a posh, rich person to you. I don't need a plebeian sleep crate. I might even throw like a peasant. In no, not I. I look like the type that might appreciate it. Okay, Alpha 3 Kilo 4. I got it, I got it. And... Authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. Uh, I've got some it is. crates set up to go to the dump. Oh. It could be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. I'll buy some random stuff. I'll take a chance. Great. Unit C203 is now keyed to you. Best of luck. Hey, I like that. I, I dig that. That's cool. I love the idea of random loot. For a, for a, a small purchase of credits, that's that's fun. I like that. Okay, so is this one? It is. Okay. Mischievous package. Yeah, they're kind of grim, aren't they? The sort of toilet chair slash sink dining table. It's it's very grim. Very. Gr What's in this one? Oh, it's not stealing. Wait, is that all I... is this the one I got? 203? Shit, I got ripped off. <laughs> I got ripped off big time. Uh, was that the one I, I bought? I think it was. Oh no. Let's uh, actually get out of that. I keep pressing the wrong button. I need to press X. Let's go back. I want to make that our... active one. No, it's not that one. Well, it was just extra bonus credits for us. So where is... Hey, here we go. What do you got for us? Somewhat good, I hope. Toilet paper? Toilet paper? Oh, I can sleep in this one. Do I own it now? We got absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> Did we really get... We got gypped more than the other one. Toilet paper and that. Oh wow! Can we buy another? 
Be careful around here. And now we have a... A107. And here you go. B101. Okay. A107 and B101. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, you've just been evicted. I don't know if you know that. What have you got in here? You got nothing too? Are you the person that I get? Do I own you now? No, just toilet paper again. These are kind of kind of shitty. Uh, is there another one? There was another one, right? Whoops. Yeah, there is. Okay. So we spent a bit of... It is kind of like... Uh... Be careful around here. <laughs> it is like a microtransaction, isn't it? It's a loot crate. Oh god, there's a loot crate. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Every single one we've been gypped so far. Okay, how do we get to that one? Okay, I'm gonna gonna poke around. I, I I intend to find this, right? I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together. All right, that's not down. that way. We've got more sleep crates here. Talk to Doc. Oh, we've done that one. We we picked up the stuff from the clinic, right? I think we've got to go over the top of Neon to get to this. We will try, we will try, we will find this lovely sleep crate that we picked up. And then once we've done that we'll go and talk to Nesta's contact. Was it Nesta or Nesta? Something like that. We'll talk to the dude. Um, do we need to drop down this way? I don't actually know. Ouch. My ankles. I think we're back where we were before. I think there's a way to get to this that I do not understand. <laughs> They're expecting far too much of this of me in this game. I know. Well, I know. We might have figured it out. Yeah, there we go. Here's our sleep crate. Come on, let's hope we've hit the mother load here. We have got... Ooh, a safe. Ooh, this is, looks better. Okay. Oh, yes, we've made bank on that. My All right. And I have talked about transferring to the same division. Uh, been coffee, been toilet paper. Better. Right, this was already worth it. Did you pick? Fantastic. More toilet paper and a safe with an advanced lock. We can do that. Uh, let's go with... That one, have we got a two? Yeah, okay, there. And then that and that. There we go. And this has got advanced Grendel, decent money, two thousand. Oh, we made bank on that. That was a good one. Okay, that was a good loot crate. We, we've actually made a decent amount back on our initial investment now. Right. We want to take on no where is yeah there we go yes this one no I don't want this I just want to go to him where is he I want to look like a completely different person I don't know, when I hit X there, or, or B, or whatever it is I'm pressing to do that, I always think it's going to let me just, like, it's going to leave a, 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 almost like a clairvoyance trail. I always forget it takes me to the, to the planet menu. Right. We are over encumbered, we should probably loosen our load a little bit, get rid of some stuff at some point. And you are in here, huh? Le Grand's Liquors. Or it should be like Red Harvest Whiskey or something. Paradiso. All this time we thought he was just being some Yeah, you need something? I do. If you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. I, I, that's a mysterious name for a beverage. No mystery. The name says it all. Look, I don't have time for chit chat. 
I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. Oh, I guess I'll just take my package elsewhere then. Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Mm, fair enough. Well, Nesha has sent me to talk to you. Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nesha. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. What? He got pinched. So if you are some <laughs> undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. They told me to deliver this and to tell you he's loyal. Oh, really? Huh. Fascinating. So Nesha came through. Huh. Might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly... Ain't that the fucking like truth? Like Jeez. Neon is just basically full-on capitalism at this point. Ask anyone. Okay. He was worried you'd ruin him. Go easy on him. Yes, yes. He is loyal. Loyalty will be rewarded. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows yeah, come you. Come on, moments. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's blend. It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you... Maybe a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. Um, I feel there's, there's a catch here, a big one. Ah, and smart. I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astral Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, it's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. Mm. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great Benjamin I mean, it's Bayou not good, because it's got Aurora in it, but... I do like sticking it to the man, and Bayou is a bit of a dickhead. You talking about Benjamin Bayou? This point is suicidal. No one crosses him. Yet Yannick does cross him, and he is none the wiser. Huh? Okay, Yannick, I'm down for what you're Nature's throwing out there. To me now. Loyal, yes, but he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, ugh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him. And you become very valuable to Yannick. I mean, we're getting on the sketchy... sketchy side of things here. What's Felix's story? Ah, uh, Felix. Felix is a mess. Samples too much of his own wares, understand? He's been getting worse, and a danger to the whole operation. Best if he just goes away. All right, consider him taken care of. This is the start of something beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you're a freaky little man, Felix but I'm uh, down for some crime. Some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. Yeah. Right. Well, I think we will call it at that for this episode. And uh, next episode, we will track down this Felix. And but yeah, I, I'm not keen on taking him out. Maybe there's an option to send him. To actually let him. I don't know. Buy him out. Send him away. We'll find out. We'll find out next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.